It's a weird fucking crowd. All right, anyway. We have two wonderful acts tonight, so I'm going to bring up the first one, then I'll be back to annoy you further. Are you ready for them? You have to start applauding. Are you ready for your first act? Woo! Show some love here. Yeah, come on. He's tall. That's why he couldn't reach the mic. That's right. <laughs> Do that to me last time, too, as he put it in and turned it off. Always oh, sticking on the short, folks. So, uh, yeah, I feel you, buddy. I'm single, too, like, after a long relationship. Uh, that's hard. Especially, I'm 40, right? Not 47. Like, I'm still kind of attractive. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, it's hard dating as you get older, right? Because I get two kinds of girls. I, because anyone my age is responsible enough never to date me. So it's either older or younger. Like, the older people have their advantages, right? Like, you can just nut with impunity because menopause took care of that, right? Uh, but I don't like going for dinner at 4 p.m. You know, that's too early for me. Uh, the young ones are good for their own reasons, too. You know, they're limber, they're beautiful. But I don't like picking them up from summer camp. That's just that's too much. That's too much. Especially when they, the first time you meet their parents as a like, parent-teacher interview. Like, uh, but the, the, the hardest part about dating is uh, obviously looking right? It's not that it's not that appealing, right? So I have to look for girls that have dad issues, you know. How about you? How, how, how's your dad? Oh, he's right there. Is he a cool guy? I don't think so. He's got a goatee. So what do you sell? Don't worry, he's on his birthday. You know, what do you say? Opportunities. Opportunities, so that's now. Alright. Okay, um, but no, honestly, it's not to the point where I'd rather just do it myself. You know, like, I don't want to go through the problem of dating. Yeah, you know what, everyone does it. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone's got their routine. You know, like, I like to put on some Sade. Light some scented candles, put on like a nice silk jacket, and just slam it in the fridge door, you know, like a normal person. And then always someone's got to interrupt you, like, sir, this is the best buy. I'm like, fuck you, man. No. Uh, yeah, uh, being a single dad is the worst. Anyone got kids here? You got kids? Yeah, how many kids you got? Three? Boys or girls? Is that it? Oh, okay. I thought you said five. I'm just like, what? I'm not giving you the sobriety test later. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I got a nine-year-old. Uh, the hardest part of being a parent is uh, dealing with the fact that you're a parent. Um, anyone else? Sure. You ladies back here. You guys got kids? You got kids? Yeah. yeah. How old's your kid? Fifteen months old. So you haven't gone to the children's shows yet, right? Oh man, they are the fucking worst. Dora? Oh my god! You know how awful Dora is? This little Mexican girl comes over here, gets a little bit of wealth. First thing she does, bring her cousin over. Come on. No, the worst is Barney. Have you done Barney yet? Fuck Barney, right? That teaches kids to get molested. It really does, right? Oh yeah, it does. Think about it, right? There's this little magical doll that only comes alive when the parents aren't around and wants hugs. Like, that's creepy Uncle No Touch, right? Like, they're just like, oh, I love you, you love me. Touch me now when well, no one sees. Like, it's fucking creepy. Don't let your kids watch Barney. Barney, yeah, right. Barney is great. Oh yeah, how about that Elmo guy, right? Isn't he as annoying as shit? You know the guy that made that made over six billion dollars doing Elmo? Right? And that guy seems like he's really fucking happy. When people say money don't buy happiness, I'm like, look at Oprah's magazine. She is thrilled every month. Yeah. Right? She is so wealthy, she owns white people. 
She owns <laughs> Rachel Ray, Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz. She owns white doctors. I got no problem with that. I've seen the color purple. I understand it. It's great. Uh, but when she tried to buy the Clippers, I'm like, whoa, draw a line there. Who's better? Who's better than the Clippers? The Raptors. Blue. What? What? What are you talking about? They were. Blue's better than purple. All right, we found the special needs table, everybody. It's these folks back here. Please pull your cards out in a fashion like their short bus game. Winner. Uh, yeah, but Oprah, I don't know what the fuck you guys know this, but Oprah's got so rich that she had all the bathrooms removed from her house. She doesn't even use the bathroom anymore. She just goes wherever like a duck. Right? She's just walking around and she's get that. And like, it's a couple of white people come over and just scoop it up. If Oprah ever poops in your house, that'll be the cleanest spot in your house ever. <laughs> Um, this is a kind of a rich area, right, in Burlington? You guys have a problem with buskers out here? Anyone from Burlington, you guys got buskers? No? You folks from Hamilton, you know what buskers are, right? They're those assholes that know three power cords. This is good. Mike's awesome. awesome. You know what I'm talking about, you know. You probably had to bust a couple, right? Mm. You gotta move them along? Yeah, yeah, fucking narc. No one smoked weed with him after the show, okay? Well, but seriously though, I mean, you're quite wrong. It's your birthday, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. It's legal now, come on. Yeah. Are, you, are, you, are you allowed to smoke weed as a cop? You are. Are you still allowed to take it away from people? Ah, fuck, I knew it. Cricket bastards. <laughs> Okay, uh, so the reason I don't like buskers is because I can't do that. I can't sit in front of a liquor store and insult people and have them give me money, right? You know what I mean? Like, I can't say to you, it's like, hey, Jersey Shore's another way, give me a dollar, right? I can't say to you, fucking go to rehab, give me a dollar. I can't say to you guys, you guys look like you came from a big total lookalike convention, give me a dollar. <laughs> so that's why I hate busters. Anyways, that's my time. Let's hit, give it up for Ben. Thank you guys very much for listening to me. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! You're a nice man, Mikey. Come on, show us a